YouTube, I hope you're ready for a very good game of Age of Empires. And if you're not, just stick with me. I'll get you there. This game has everything. In the teal, we have Scotty. I will call him Scotty. If if you don't know that it's Scotty, then Scotty didn't know either. Um, I had to fit in that joke at some point. Anyways, uh, he was on an account that he created specifically for, guess what, trying stuff in the top 100 with this account. And then we have Cyclops. Cyclops. Correct me if I'm wrong, YouTube, but I believe this is a Turkish player. I think he used to play all the time back in the Boobly days. I played him today. He is really, really talented, and he's top 100 player. Um, so two top 100 players. Commervers Berbers. The things you're normally thinking about when you're thinking Commervers Berbers. Farm rates, cheap nights for Berbers. Um, those types of normal things. This game is very different because Cyclops is going to start it all off. He wants those points. Uh, rated games, they don't mean too much to some people. To other people, they want those wins however they can take it. I suppose if you're practicing for a tournament environment, you might, might want to practice this, but Cyclops goes forward two minutes in and starts off the game stealing 340 food. Nuts. It's going to make for a very interesting game. Because my buddy Scotty here, uh, he created this account with the intention of trying non-meta strategies um so to give you an idea like normally what you do in this spot um is you would say oh shoot i lost my boar and then you'd push in some deer you might make a farm or two and then you wall up and go scouts as berbers right um scotty's not gonna do that scotty's gonna try to do something off meta and what's really exciting about off meta strategies is because it's almost the meta almost has the assist in those situations, right? Like, you expect one thing, and because you expect one thing, you can get surprised or shocked by whatever other thing happens, right? So, uh, Cyclops, up 340 food, still has a boar here to take, still has all the goats, still has the boar here to take, still has the deer here to take. Food galore. And then Scotty's over here. And Scotty, I'm not sure... If he actually knew that he was lamed because it was so early, maybe he didn't have this area of his map scouted. But he's scouting all right, and he really cannot find one of his boars. Now, he's going to do something in a second, so I'm not going to really spoil this too much if I start talking about it early. Apologies, I just have so much to say that I need to start now before it happens. Uh, there were a few players back in Hidden Cup 3 with the map Cross, which is a water map with with ponds in the corners. It would pick Berbers, and they would use Berbers to sneak villagers into the corners. And the reason they would pick Berbers is because Berber villagers are faster. So here comes Scotty, and this is where the boar used to be. He might not know that. He's sending a villager forward. He's hoping to find the enemy and get behind whatever walls might be there. This is not the only time that he has tried this. I've spoken to him. I teamed up with Scotty in the 2v2 World Cup. Very good player. Very nice guy. And we talked about this. And he's like, yeah, man, people don't expect it. I've been trying it. It doesn't always work. This is the deal. And he actually does not know where Cyclops is. So two horrible things happy to Scotty. Unfortunately, Scotty didn't know. And he has now lost a boar and lost his scout. The only thing that he knows about Cyclops' is eco is that Cyclops has his TC there. That is it. But yeah, uh, I think it's ACCM. He was the big one from Vietnam. Uh, he would frequently pick Berbers to utilize the faster villagers. And you don't see yeah. sneaky villagers with Berbers too frequently. Instead, you're just seeing where people are happy enough for that to affect their farm rate. Uh, Scotty at home is, is walling his base. He doesn't have too much food here. But uh, he needs to protect himself if Cyclops were to go up to Fetal Age fast with all that extra food. But Cyclops is not doing that. Cyclops is actually going to go for a crazy fast castle. Now, check this out. This is Cyclops' point of view. He went forward to see that Scotty's walled. All he's doing is planning on going to Castle Age here. He's going to bring that weak scout home, and he's going to push in the deer. Did you see that deer move? Kind of looked like it was a natural movement from that deer because of Cyclops' scout. It was actually because of Scotty's villager. Scotty's looping the whole way around. We're good. Scotty has still not clicked up to the feudal age. Scotty about to run out of food here. If Scotty didn't have a forward villager, what would happen? 
that Cyclops would easily make his way to Castle Age. Scotty would, would probably do... He'd have, like, no real avenue to do any damage over at Cyclops' base. And, yeah, things would be rough. And if you don't really understand just how bad it'd be yet, pay attention to what past castle time Cyclops is able to pull off. So, Scotty, whether it was for revenge or because he was just trying stuff, sneaks over here up against the edge of the map. And this is with very little scouting on where things are located for Cyclops. <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, he's going to give himself a chance. And, and Cyclops, he scouted this area a little bit. But he has no reason to think that there's going to be any real harm coming his way. So this is a strategy that I've been so passionate about for so long is the sneaky archer range strategy. And I've loved it because it can surprise people. But because people at the high level are so aware, normally if, if they don't see military buildings at home, they either kill you because you have nothing there to defend or they say, hmm, something's up and then they scout the back of their base. So those two aspects and the one aspect I forgot to mention is the fact that high level players don't have the guts to go for out of the box strategies very few of them do very most of them stick to the meta that gets them where they are and i get that but yeah those are the reasons why we don't see this too frequently now since Khmer do not have to build the required buildings to go up to the next age cyclops could click up to castle age here in a second like <laughs> this is gonna be insane check this out he actually could cancel those two villagers drop off food and click right up he'll create one vill and before 12 minutes, we'll be on his way to the castle age. Yep, one villager drops off food, has the food, has the gold. That's disgusting. Even if there were scouts coming forward, there wouldn't be three scouts until around now. And even then, you know, he'd be halfway to castle age. He could plop down a stable. He could plan on making knights. He has so much potential here. But no sign yet of what he'll go for. And, hmm, okay. He goes forward. He really has been smart about the scouting. Confirmed that Scotty was walled and decided to go fast castle. Now sees that Scotty has a barracks. Now is adding houses next to all of his resources so he can hide inside of the houses, which is a Khmer bonus. Four villagers here, five fit inside a house. Five villagers here, five fit inside that house. Five villagers here, five fit inside that house. Very satisfying to see that. But what he doesn't know is what is over here. This is what he doesn't see. He does not see these archer ranges. The archer ranges are behind enemy lines. There will be a lot of archers here. And I'm just going to hold this here because I'm lazy. And I'm going to use this for the thumbnail in the video. Okay, YouTube? Sorry, just being honest with you. Back in business with the overlay. But that is going to be interesting. Now, it's even more interesting... Because of what we're seeing from Cyclops on the front. He will have a 1430 castle age. He's, he at this point expects that Scotty's probably going fast castle. But minus the boar, minus the Khmer bonuses, Scotty would have a castle age of maybe 1730, 18 minutes at best. He'd have to go very heavy on the farms. So he figures, all right, I'm going to turn this into a siege monk push, which is called a smush, by the way. So the siege, which would be an excellent tool to kill archers is actually forward <laughs> so that's the building you need to defend yourself if you're cyclops let's watch how he reacts to this nothing yet nothing yet everything's good i'm gonna win this game i'm gonna get the points mom's gonna be proud mom's very proud mom loves me i hope one two scotty could have microed that a bit more two villagers go down now if cyclops wasn't Khmer, he loses four or five there being Khmer genuinely gives him a chance to come back from this. Loses another villager. Now he's off gold and he's off of wood. Those villagers are alive. And Cyclops, unsure on what to do now, I'm sure. Like, uh, okay, I have a barracks forward. I was prepping for scouts and knights. Not archers in the back of my freaking base. So it also hurts him because he doesn't have a market. It's not like he can sell some resources to get gold if he needs it. So he has to send this scorpion, very strong scorpion, all the way home. And while he's focusing on all of that, he's, he's lost another villager and now needs to abandon this wood line as well. 
and Scotty is just going to chase him on down into the house. Could go out the other side. Cyclops acting nicely into houses. Good stuff. And yeah, the scorpions here. But yeah, Scotty genuinely gave himself a chance because he was lamed. I love the fact that Scotty's been trying this a lot. And I'd love it if, if you guys would have interest to see more of this because I'd love to cast it. But it's so sick how it worked out so well to give him an opportunity here. He does have the vill lead, but he's still in the feudal age. So the forward villager is, is going to be as annoying as possible and wall in some resources. At home, I heard a stable for Scotty. He must know that there's Siege Workshop out there. He might be expecting some type of a forward. So staying in feudal age, making scouts is... It's not orthodox, but it's a nice idea against just siege. Because that's pretty much all Cyclops is doing. Cyclops is booming and making siege, and that's it. If there's ever a sieve to to survive in wacky situations, yeah, there's some scorpions behind his wood line now. Scotty has to deal with that, but... Anyways, Khmer is the sieve to survive messy situations. I call them the, a mindless civilization because the boom tends to be so mindless... We'll place the farms wherever it doesn't have to be pretty and when the games get messy it goes a long way i'm fairly certain that what scotty was expecting was knights in siege not spears in siege because he created quite a few spearmen the spearmen really don't look all that wise when there's four or five scorpions out on the map but he didn't know because he's scotty and here he comes with the scouts now this is another brilliant play from scotty and we'll really look back at this what gave him a chance because we're going three tcs over cyclops base scotty's got to do some damage here but if he uses the scouts here to defend then he's still in feudal age at home and cyclops can boom and cyclops can then prepare for scouts but the fact that scotty's going forward with the scouts gives him an opportunity to surprise cyclops so cyclops cannot prepare for this and so this is what cyclops is up to he's He's seeing now that there's a tower for Scotty, and he wants to push that tower. But at the same time, he gets hit on his wood line, and he does react to it. And he's going to hop inside the houses. Again, if he wasn't Khmer, he would be so dead. I love the Khmer Civ, man. They used to be so bad. Now they have the farm rate. They're a little gimmicky, but so unique. The scouts have bloodlines and armor, so they'll take care of the scorpions. And there's also some Spearmen here for Cyclops. This is very crazy stuff, guys. I mean, imagine playing in this. Three villagers have gone down from Cyclops while we were watching all of that, and the Scorpion goes down too. Meanwhile, it looks like the Scouts... Uh... Well, overall, I mean, all the Spearmen go down. The Scorpion's very low, so Scotty does hold on. But guys, notice the Vil count. I said it two or three minutes ago. Khmer just have this way of staying alive against this. 15 on food, but you don't need to drop off the uh, food at the town center or the mill. So a messy reboom, but three TCs for Cyclops. He is in a position where all of his food is going into villagers, but there's not much that feudal age units can do against it now. This area is protected with a TC. So he has a wood TC, a farm TC, and a gold TC. This is exactly how you'd want it if you're Cyclops. So despite the struggles, Cyclops finds himself in a very good spot, uh, especially if he's able to mix in something else. But let's see. Uh, Berbers are fantastic at all-in situations because of the cheaper knights. That is probably their best age. So as Cyclops loses a villager, Scotty still... Uh, does he still have this build back here? Oh, yeah. He's building houses in the enemy town. This probably, this villager is probably like, what a ripoff, man. I heard that I could garrison inside my houses over here. <laughs> nope, you have to be Khmer in order for that to happen. But yeah, he's just building houses over here. Someone asked me on stream the other day why people like to do this. And it's because you're going to need the houses anyways. And well, I guess he's building houses over here. Thanks for that, Scotty. Anyways, um... You're going to need the houses anyways, and there's not much more that villager can really do. So instead of having that villager idle, if you have the wood, make houses. But Scotty has just seen for the first time that there's three TCs. I don't think he knew that there this TC was here until just now. So he is at 44 villagers. It's 56 villagers for Cyclops. But Cyclops still has 
17 farms, which is good enough for 3 TCs pumping units, or pumping villagers, but it's not quite good enough to go 3 TC boom and also make knights. So, I love 1 TC versus 3 TC situations, or 2 TC versus 4, because the person who is investing less into eco has more resources available to make military. And so, as Cyclops actually shows up here with a deceiving amount of siege, holy cow. He's got a ram, inside of it are spears, and he has scorpions. You see Scotty, he's on two stables, and he's really going to focus on making knights. Now, he did get the crossbow upgrade. What? Did he? No, he didn't get that. He can't afford it just yet. Now, 15 villagers behind. Scotty really tried his best. Cyclops, I gotta give him credit, man. Cyclops even making knights now. This is really well played from Cyclops. This is a beautiful Age of Empires game. From the sneak, uh, from the lame, to the sneak, to the FC versus the fuel aggro. Now both are in Castle Age, and, and um, I guess what Scotty really needs... Well, he needs more knights, and he needs one Maganel, and he needs to keep this army moving. That's all. He probably needs more economy, too. O only those four things. And then he just wins. Easy. <laughs> Not so easy. But he does need some melee units here to take care of the siege. Meanwhile, uh, he will keep his TC up using his cheap Berber Knights. Take out the Ram. Now, my game actually crashed like four times while trying to record this. I've not seen anything past this moment because my game kept crashing. And then I, I ran it through and it was working. Okay, thank God. It didn't crash there and Scotty just mops up all the siege. Still moving around with his crossbows. And he's still uh, 19 or so villagers behind, but he's also killed a lot of eco. Let's take a look here. Eco killed slash lost. Scotty's killed 12 eco, only lost six. We'll go to the overall KD though. There's the overall KD. And value spent destroyed is also there for both players. The interesting one, right? Well, anyways, Berber Knights, very cheap. 29 military for Scotty, 10 military for Cyclops, who has a lot on wood, and he has a lot on gold. Almost reminds me of a situation I saw Huang in once in a tournament. He was playing Khmer against Lix in a best of three on Arabia, and he was booming so much, and it's a mindless thing. As I said, you're cycling through your town centers to create bills, and so you just cycle through the siege workshops and make a crap ton of scorpions. You trickle in a few knights here or there, but... Apart from that, you don't stress too much. He actually did not have a blacksmith this entire time, so he'll add that for upgrades on the knights and also add the monastery. Update on Scotty. Uh, Scotty, no wheelbarrow. Upgrade he really should go for also as he kills a vill here and kills a vill here. Oh, never mind. No, he doesn't. Uh, he's got to save his forward villager. There he goes. Well played. Shoot, what was I going to say? I was going to say something. Oh, yeah, he doesn't have the wood. Oh, he did get the wood upgrade. Damn it, Scotty. 81 villagers versus 51. Scotty, unfortunately, has not been able to push fast enough. And I think Cyclops should have... Well, he should have the vill number to have more than 12 on food. That's the thing. With 81 vills, you should have the food eco to be able to get chain barding knights of, on, of your own. And then Scorpion Knight versus just... Just knight and a few crossbows is not going to do that much. But I think the pressure from Scotty has really kept Cyclops pinned in here. And he has not been able to expand his farming eco comfortably. Also, the other thing is Scotty has walls. He has base structure. But this sneaky base from Scotty has, has not allowed Cyclops to have base structure. So he's prepping to deal with this. Scotty could hit this, and that'd be 13 villagers down and all of that gold. So it is interesting... Still 54 villagers versus 84. Such a massive difference there. Plus, it's Khmer Farms. Let's see how many knights Scotty can make. They do have plus two. The attack's coming in. He goes to the wood line. Now, this is, as I said, right as Cyclops is going to hit this group of crossbows. So, Scotty's just going to run away as he's doing damage elsewhere. And what went from 84 villagers, or what started at 84 villagers, has now gone down to 73, 72 more are going down, and Scotty is happy to lose these crossbows. See you later, crossbows. You you worked well for me. Don't need you any longer. 
Is Scotty booming at home? No, he's not booming. He added a second TC, but that's not booming. This is all in aggression from him. Both stables queued up. And now he has a fighting chance. If his two TCs are producing, while he's raiding a three TC person's eco, it's, it's kind of even there, right? Because you'd expect that Cyclops has a few of the towns that he's garrisoned. Even if he's producing, he doesn't have... He doesn't have enough on food! He doesn't have enough upgrades right now. The Scorpions offered so little and they go down. If Scotty would just get a few nights over here, that'd be best case scenario. But it's 59 villagers for Scotty. It's 60 villagers for Cyclops. Half of them are idle and inside of the town centers. And my goodness, the GG's called... What a game, guys. What a game, man. <laughs> I don't know uh, what point Scotty sent me the recorded games. I have a few where he tries this. Win or lose, he tries the sneak archery range thing. But I think I told the story at the start of the video. If not, I'll just I'll just say it again because I think it's really relevant to this point. Um, he, I, I was watching Dragonstar's stream, who's a 2K2 player, and Dragonstar played trying stuff, and I was trying to speculate on who this person might be. I said... It might be Scotty. And then he later rewatched that, happened to see me say that, sent me a message and said, hey, that his exact words were like, you're damn right, it's me. And he was really pumped up. And the reason I tell this story again is because I bet you any money <laughs> that he was pumped up because of this game, man. <laughs> I mean, this was sick. He got lamed. The enemy went three TC boom. Um... The enemy was 30 villagers ahead, and yet military ended up winning in the game. Beautiful stuff. And that is why some players uh, can get caught out by crazy strategies, because you get so confident with your position. You think, I've stolen a boar. I'm going to boom. I'm going to siege push him, and I'm going to win. And so what started off as boom into pressuring in the middle of the map turned into boom into defending some awkward awkward archer rush in my base while also trying to push, but then the push became less effective. It was very hard for Cyclops to balance it. He, he went in for a push. It got trampled out by scouts. Then he went in for another push. That got taken out by the knights. The entire time, there was a threat of archers there. And I think that for that reason, he wasn't able to get as much food income. He wasn't able to get as many farms. He had the 81 vills. But I think that's that's deceiving because they were not working in the way that he would need them to to win the game. Let's look back at the eco stats, though. I am curious about that. The KD is certainly huge. 87, 40. Uh, that is a 2-1 to one KD, which you don't see too frequently in Age of Empires. 8,600 food versus 7,300 food. But if you think about how expensive it is to to cycle through town centers and queue up villagers and have them queued at all times. That's 150 food every 25 to 30 seconds. I should know how long it takes to create a villager. I don't know that. That's embarrassing, but that sounds about right. So Scotty probably had more food floating, plus he had the cheaper nights, so he could make as many as he did and get those upgrades too. And then the wood, you know, again, that could have been put into additional farms. A lot of the wood and a lot of that gold that Cyclops had over Scotty, though, was in Scorpions and Rams, and then the buildings that were forward and ended up being pretty ineffective. Just so we don't skip over, uh, Scotty, who lost his scout, he ended up having more of the map explored because Cyclops was so tunnel-visioned and stuck inside of his own base. That's a pretty cool stat. And uh, there was the villager difference, which we did end up seeing in-game. And that's the timeline. You know, the, the Dark Teal, the Dark Scion, it, it says it all, does it not? The Dark is the military, the Light is the Eco. There was definitely a point here where Cyclops had more Eco. He just failed to be able to put that in the military. So I want your thoughts on the sneaky archery range strategy. Because I think at mid to low elo, this strategy could work so freaking well. In fact, while I can't promise I'm going to cast your games... This goes for anyone, by the way, that wants to submit games. If you guys try this, win or lose, please put it in our Discord under game submissions. Uh, I have a game submissions chat room where people can, can put in the recorded games and give a synopsis of the game, and sometimes I'll cast them for YouTube. But I would love to see this, again, at high level, but it's, it's so rare. 
I want mid and low elo because you've got to know the scouting is not as good at 1500 and below. And I think if a 2k1 player can be surprised by this, certainly a 1500 player and below can be surprised by this. So yeah, if you're playing the game, try this out. Let me know. It doesn't have to be with Berbers, but I think Berbers is freaking amazing for this because of the faster villager. Um, also, because you wouldn't always expect Berbers to go archers, which is another thing I think that makes it sneak A. But yeah, that, and if you want to see a few other try and stuff games, I'd like to hear about it. Um, you know, this, the next couple weeks, there should be a lot of cool YouTube only content back to my one upload a day schedule. And I am also behind the scenes getting prepped for a bare, a very busy February because the Hidden Cup 4 qualifiers start then. And that main event for Hidden Cup 4 will be in March. So working on things, we'll be announcing things shortly. Hope you guys are pumped for it. Maybe we'll see some hidden archer ranges, some hidden villagers in Hidden Cup 4. Excellent segue. I am th That was so blatant and obvious. I'm sorry. Uh, guys, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Have a wonderful night.